evening. I'd like to call the November 5th Board of Commissioners meeting to order. Um, this evening we will have um, Owen Etheridge, um, Commissioner Etheridge, do our invocation and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. If you will please stand. Let us pray. <clears throat> Father, we come to you tonight asking you to bestow your mercy and blessings upon this body as we deliberate about issues important to Curry Tuck County. But Father, we ask your blessing tomorrow as the people of the United States of America go to the polls to select our president for the next four years and also other leaders, the governor of our state and our county. Bestow your wisdom and mercy. Show them the proper way in which to take this country back to you. Bless each and every one of us that's here this evening. Be with us as we go through this meeting and we travel home both commissioners, staff, and also the people in the audience. All these blessings we ask in thy name. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, I'd like to go ahead and say um, this evening we're missing a couple commissioners. Um, Mr. Idlett is still on his recovery and should be back with us at our next meeting. Um, Commissioner uh, Chairman Rohr is also out ill this evening, so um, you get the new kid on the block. Um, the next item is item C, which is the approval of our agenda. Is there a motion? Motion to approve the agenda as presented. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Um, next, we have public comments. I understand that there's no one that has signed up for public comments, but this is a time that if there's anyone that would like to come up and make a public comment, to please do so. Madam Chairman. Yes, sir. I've been waiting 16, 17 years to say Madam Chairman to somebody, and that's what I wanted to speak about. Uh, tonight is the first time in recent memory. I, we've had a female chairman before, but it's good to see a lady sitting in the chair tonight. Well, thank you. Uh, as, as being groomed as a vice chair, that, that's, you know, the way I'm supposed to serve. Um, the first item that we have under public hearing, um, this is a public hearing in action, PB 1221, Sunseeker Tours, request for a special use permit for an outdoor tour operation, horse tours. The property is located at 1024 Ocean Trail, Corolla Light, tax map 115B, Parcel 14, Poplar Branch Township, Beach. Um, this is a public hearing, so anyone that would like to speak on this would need to come up to be sworn in. If you would um, put your left hand on the Bible and raise your, do you swear to say, tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. Mr. Woody. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Uh, this is a request for a special use permit for an outdoor tour operator. Uh, the location of the property is in the Crawler Light Plan Unit Development. It's the uh, property where uh, the Brindley Recreation Center is, the grass course, and the wastewater disposal area. There's also a maintenance build building facility on that property. Property is currently zoned general business. Um, it's designated full service in our land use plan. Um, and what you have tonight is a 5.89 acre site total and a portion of that and you can see on the site plan here is where the maintenance building and some parking spaces are in these parking spaces uh, one vehicle seating six to ten people will be parked and that vehicle will be, will be used to provide outdoor tours um, to guests and residents of the crawl light plan unit development um, the plan is is for that tour vehicle to be parked in this lot here, but of course, um, when it takes the tours, it'll meet the customers at the Brindley Center, the Brindley Recreation Center. The, the Brindley Recreation Center is is a center that's provided for use by residents and guests of the Crawl Light Pud. Um, the idea being is that um, in order to take this this tour, outdoor tour, you would actually uh, the the persons or the the persons on the tour would would come to the Brindley Rec Center. At that point, they would load on the vehicle, and the vehicle would embark on the tour. Um, we have discussed parking with, with Mr. Cheek, and, and uh, in this regard, what the preference of the priority will be, actually, 
um, is that patrons or people who are taking the tour will arrive to the rec center when possible using the crawl like trolley. They actually have a trolley system that circulates in that plan unit development. So we don't see a, a lot of need for additional parking spaces, although they do have plenty of parking available. Um, restrooms are provided at the sports center. There are restrooms there that are available for, for guests on the tour. Again, as I've mentioned, the tours are exclusively for crawl light owners and guests. Um, there's no proposed structures or facilities with this, with this um, permit. Uh, to clarify, again, it's for one outdoor tour vehicle that seats between six and ten persons. And staff has reviewed this request in the technical review committee, and we do recommend approval of the use permit as it does meet the conditions of the ordinance. Uh, with part of that approval, staff has recommended a number of conditions. I'm not going to read through these, but these are the same conditions that are included in every use permit the county's issued for all the other tour operators. The planning board also reviewed this request at their October meeting, and they have recommended unanimous approval. And with that, I'm happy to answer any questions. Any questions, board? To Mr. Madam Buddy? Chairman, so you're, what you're saying in essence is there's no difference in terms of criteria that this operator is <clears throat> to under to follow than there is what's happening with anybody else. Yes, sir. Okay. And this will only be one tour vehicle. That is correct. How often will it be used? Um, I think Mr. Mr. Cheek will have to comment on that, but there is there isn't a limit on the number of times per day it can be used. But it can only be that one vehicle, right? Typically, tours are about two hours, I believe. Hopefully, so. hopefully, about four times a day, max. Good, right. um, Chairman. Can I ask Thank a you, question? certainly, and Mr. Cheek. You're not actually doing horse tours. You're just taking some of your guests up on the North Beach. Is that correct? Absolutely correct. So you won't be going in and out of the neighborhoods and chasing behind the horses. No, that's not the intent at all. No, sir. No horse tours. Any other questions for Mr. Cheek? Mr. Cheek, is there anything further that you'd like to add? No, ma'am. Any other discussion? Uh, just clarification again. Your your intention is when you go behind the dunes is to go um, to private property. What what was proposed is that we would like to have the same opportunity as other tour operators as far as utilizing the restroom facilities if needed. We would also, our evening tour, we've been granted permission from Jay Bender, who owns the Wild Horse Estates, to use his property, which would be going straight off the beach to his property for sunset tour and then straight back. No looking for horses, no traveling to dunes, just straight ingress and egress. No further discussion. That's the pleasure of the board. Uh, I'd like to motion that we uh, approve. Madam Chairman, you need to close the public oh, okay. hearing first. I'd like to close the public hearing. Now okay. what's the pleasure of the board? Make a motion to approve. Second. Mr. Chairman, Madam Chairman, I ask a question. That is with the staff findings of fact and the criteria as they Correct. Out. Okay. So we have a motion and a second. What's all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The next um, three items, B, C, and D, um, for public hearing um, are all consideration and action of PB 710, 627, and 535. I'd like for Mr. Woody to go ahead and um, summarize each one of those since each one of them are extension of a permit that was previously um, approved. And I'll be brief. These, these are three subdivisions that exist in Curry Tuck County. The first one is the South Ridge Plan Unit Development which is 146 lot um, PUD in the Moyoc area. Uh, again, they have come forward to request a two-year extension of their preliminary plat special use permit. Uh, the next one on our list is a, is a small commercial subdivision here in the Currituck Township. And again, it is a nine-lot uh, commercial subdivision actually near the courthouse. And they, too, are asking for a two-year extension of their preliminary plat special use permit. And finally, the last subdivision we have is Curry Tuck Fields, which is another subdivision here in the Curry Tuck um, town or Curry Tuck area near the courthouse. And again, it's a 25 lot residential subdivision, and they too are asking for a uh, two year extension of the use permit and plat. 
and staff doesn't have any uh, concerns with any of these three uh, requests. Been no change at all. It's just a plain extension. That's correct. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. McCree, is it appropriate to approve all three at once? Or do we I, need I, to do I don't them see individual? a problem with doing that. Of course, uh, I suspect the clerk will make clear in the minutes that, that each one of these applications has received approval. Ms. Madam Chairman, I'd like to propose that we approve PB 0710 Southridge, PB 0627 Village Square of Curry Tuck, PB 0535 Curry Tuck Fields. Second. For the extension. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Um, no other old business, new business. Um, I have a board appointment to this Ocean Sands Water and Sewer, Sewer District Advisory Board, um, which is a Mr. Terrence Anderson. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Um, next item is B, our consent agenda. Move for approval. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Commissioner's report. Mr. Petrie. God bless America. We have a right to vote. We need to exercise it. If you don't, you're taking, taking our gift and God's blessing for granted. Mr. Martin. To uh, build upon that, uh, we, uh, the people of the United States, have uh, the right to vote, which many, many, many other citizens of the world would love to have, but do not. Please exercise your greatest freedom tomorrow. Mr. Etheridge. I'll just ditto what everybody's saying, and if you haven't already voted in early voting, please go out tomorrow and vote. Uh, Vote like your grandchildren, children and grandchildren's lives depend on it, because it does. Thank you. Mr. O'Neill. Madam Chairman, I have nothing to add to anything that's been said tonight. Very good. Um, well, I have to speak a little bit. Um, I had the opportunity on Thursday evening to attend the candlelight ceremony for the Alzheimer Association, and um, we as a board... Um, adopted a proclamation for November being Alzheimer's Awareness Month. And not having anyone close to me that has experienced this, this disease, um, but working closely with the Currituck House and the opportunity of being at that meeting Thursday night, um, I am wearing a purple ribbon. I know I'm short, but I am wearing a purple ribbon, and I will for the re remainder of this month either wear purple or this ribbon um, to show my... Um, just the respect for the those that are caregivers for for patients of Alzheimer's um, in our busy everyday lives we need to consider that and and think about those folks that are caregivers because that is a tremendous strain on the lifestyles and and just their well-being so again with that said um, I too want to um, reiterate what everyone said about voting tomorrow it is uh, you know our civic duty um, and I just I've Pray every day for our country, um, and I just hope that you all will also um, participate in that. Um, count, uh, Mr. Um, Scanlon, anything county manager's report? Uh, Madam Chairman, I'd just like to report that uh, at your last meeting, the board talked about the uh, recent proposals by the insurance companies to raise the homeowner's insurance um, up to upwards of 20-plus percent. Uh, there was a, a hearing that was held last, I think last week, uh, we had a representative that spoke there. The, uh, what I'm hearing is, is over th several thousand folks spoke. They all spoke in opposition. Uh, those voices were heard. And the uh, secretary now is calling for another public hearing to be held in June uh, to open up the conversation and dialogue where the insurance companies now have got to come forth and provide information for that to be uh, before he'll move forward with that. So uh, it seems like at least at this moment in time, uh, the, the public's voice has been heard. Uh, there's a bit of a brief stay uh, while they gather more information, and that hearing is going to be on June 3rd um, in Raleigh. Thank you. Madam Chairman, can I add something to that? Please? Certainly. <clears throat> I am concerned with what happened up in the New Jersey, New York area. The insurance companies are going to use that. Uh, of what happened to try to pad their case for increased rates on the coast, saying, see, we told you this could happen, and we need to guard against that. Thank you. 
Any other items, or do I have a motion? Motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Meetings adjourned. <laughs>